Hey, it's Brad with Splash Damage Tech. I'm back again with another quick unboxing, and it's another Nook device. This time, it's the newly released Nook Tablet 7-inch. I picked this one up at a local Barnes & Noble store earlier today, so let's get it unboxed. Once we've got that pretty neat packaging out of the way, let's see what's in here. Included is obviously the Nook Tablet 7-inch, so let's put that aside. Then we have the Quick Start Guide. Also included is that same chunky micro USB cable. And under here looks like a wall charger. And this charger looks like a 5 volt 1 amp charger, so no fast charging here. And let's check out the tablet quickly. It feels like the same soft touch material in blue that's on the larger Nook Tablet 10.1 inch, so that's good to see. On the bottom, in portrait mode, there looks to be just a microphone. On the right, there's a power button and volume up and down. The left is blank, except for that little hidden micro SD card slot. And on the top, there's a micro USB input, a reset pin, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The back has the rear-facing camera up top, some regulatory info towards the bottom, a small Nook logo, and the rear-firing speaker. And on the front, you'll notice just the front-facing camera. So let's power this thing up and go over the specs. This tablet is running Android 8.1 Oreo Go Edition, surprisingly, with a security patch as of October 5th, 2018. And it actually received that update the first time I booted it. The smaller Nook tablet is actually running a more powerful chip than the Nook tablet 10.1 inch. It's the MediaTek MT8163. Now that's a quad core ARM Cortex A53. Now the Nook tablet 10.1, those were Cortex A35s, remember, running at only a maximum of 1.3 gigahertz this time. The Cortex A53s though are about 25% faster per clock so it'll be interesting to benchmark this one. The onboard GPU is a Mali T720 MP2, which is about on par with the PowerVR GE8300 that's in the Nook Tablet 10.1, but it has a lot less pixels to push around this time. The system on a chip is paired with one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, and the onboard storage is 16 gigabytes, with 12.2 gigabytes free on first boot. The screen is a 7-inch IPS LCD with a resolution of 1024 by 600. Wi-Fi is a pretty healthy 802.11 A, B, G, and N dual band, so both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz support, which is impressive, and the Bluetooth is 4.0. The tablet has two cameras. The front camera is a 0.3 megapixel shooter and can do video at a maximum of 480p, and the rear camera is a 1.9 megapixel and can shoot in 720p. There's a single rear firing speaker and the battery is listed at only 3000 milliamp hours. So how does this thing feel, especially compared to the Nook Tablet 10.1 inch? On first boot, of course, I did get hit with a security update, which is a good thing, to be honest, but besides that, Moving around the UI, installing a few apps to check the specs, and doing some internet speed tests, this little tablet feels pretty snappy. It's also very small, and it feels quite premium, just like the Nook Tablet 10.1 inch. It's very light and almost pocketable, though. Here it is compared to my current daily driver, the Blue Vivo 11. That's a 5.9 inch smartphone. The Nook isn't much larger. In fact, if the bezels were smaller, this could be considered a phablet.
While I was in the store, I also picked up a cover for this one, and I felt like it wasn't special enough to warrant its own video, so here it is. It's not nice or anything like the Smart Folio or the keyboard cover of the larger Nook Tablet 10.1 inch, but this is a $49 tablet after all. Having said that, the color options they had on these covers was pretty impressive. I walked away with this very attractive orange, and I think I made the right choice. What do you think? Well that's all for this one. I hope you enjoyed this short unboxing and first look at the Nook Tablet 7 inch. If you found this useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more about this brand new smaller Nook Tablet. I've also got some full reviews, one of the Nook Tablet 10.1 and the other of the Amazon Fire HD 10 on the way. That's all for this one though, so thanks for watching and have a great day.